In order to set up the bottom bar, click bottom bar. Here is your bottom bar settings. The settings comes with some content already pre-added, but you can add content by clicking here and choosing one of these options. Let's start out with the contact content right here. In the contact content, we have a few items like these settings to show for desktop, show for mobile, and more. For contact, it deals with showing your contact, right? So our contact is what we're seeing right here. And we could choose to check this box to show for desktop, which is what we're seeing here. And if we uncheck it, we can't see it. And if we check it, we can see it. So this is what we're seeing right here. We can also choose to show it for mobile. So if we're on our mobile version of our store, we can still be able to see these contact symbols here, right? Our phone number and our email. And we could choose to align it. Right now it's on auto, but we can choose to move it to the left, right? It's on the left now, so if we click left, it wouldn't really move. I'll show you, I'll click. It's still on the left, but if I move it to the center, you'll see it move a little bit closer to the center. And then if I choose the right, it pushes it even more towards the right, right? So I'm going to move it back to auto because I feel like that fits the best. And I'm going to go on to, let's say, show phone. So I could choose if I want to show the phone by selecting this or if I want to show the email by selecting this, right? So if I deselect the show phone, it removes it. And all you see is email us. And if I choose to deselect show email, you'll see nothing. But if I click show phone, you'll just see the phone by itself. So it gives us some room to be able to customize, right? And get exactly what we want to be shown and what we want users to be able to interact with. So I'll select both of those again, because it's good to have the email and the phone number. And I'll back out of this. Let's try social media. If I click the social media setting or the social media content setting, then I could choose to show for desktop, show for mobile, and also change the alignment. Our social media, since it's already on here, we know that we could see it on this bar. If this was empty, let's say like we deleted this, you wouldn't see it. And you see this one contact content takes up the whole bar, it moves to the center. So we're gonna add the social back and I'll click add content, click social media and see our social media symbols come back. And this is what we're seeing here, our social media icons. So we can choose to remove by clicking this so you won't see it on desktop, but it makes sense if we have social media links to be able to show it. So I'll turn that back on. And as usual, we can change the alignment of it from the left, the center, and the right, right? To get the feel that we want and the placement that we want. I'll back out of here. Let's go to a different content. Let's say we want to click add content and choose a scrolling message. We want to let our users know something as soon as they get onto our store. We can click this. And in here we can add our add our scrolling messages. If you could see, we have some pre-made text right here. This is one message and this is another. And we see it right here. But we can customize it. We could highlight it and turn it bold. And you see the message turns bold. We can italicize it by clicking this. And see it's bold and italicized. You can see it kind of curving to the side, but also staying bold. Or we can deselect both of these and add a link to it. So I can insert a link. And here I can, you know, paste any link I want, or I could link it to an item in my store. Let's say like the uh, products and shoes a product. Let's say the bodybuilding pants. And then I could press insert. 
And also, if you want it to open it, uh, open the link in a different window, you can click this. If not, you can leave it unselected, but when a user clicks this, right, which will have the link on it, then it will navigate us to that location within the same page in your browser. So I'll leave mine unchecked and I'll press insert. So now we've added it in and we see that this is now a link. You see when you hover over it, you can see that it's clickable. That means that we put a link here. So I don't really want a link, so I'll get rid of this and I will add in, add in a new first scrolling message. So I'll say I'm number one and see that becomes here. And I could change this as well. I, I am number two. And see when this message actually begins scrolling, it will show an I'm number one, then it will turn and switch right to I am number two. One big thing to point out with the scrolling messages is you want to make sure that when you put in one scrolling message that you put an enter space, right, or return, same thing, between each one. So you would say I'm number one, press enter, and then you'll say whatever the next scrolling message you want. So I can say I'm a scrolling message. And see, that's how we add it. You don't want to add them right next to each other. Press enter in between and let there be spaces. All right, so that's scrolling messages. So let's come out of here and see when we have three blocks, it says we're full, right? You can't add anymore. So I will go to scrolling messages. I will press these three dots to remove this because we don't really need a scrolling message in this case, but if you need it for your case, you can keep it. And then let's go to add content. And let's say we're gonna choose links, for example. Cool. So this controls links. How do we add it? Well, we go to the link list here. We can select a menu and choose it here. So here we can select a menu and choose it. Let me back out of here and redo that. So we can click select menu. And then in here we can choose whatever menu we want. I'll say main menu and it adds it right here. So these are the links. Whichever menu we choose, it'll add those menu links to navigate our user to that area in this section. And if we click select, we know that we can also change the alignment so we can move this to the left. We can move it you know, to the right. Uh, I'll leave it on the right for now, but you could always as well leave it on auto and based on what's here, it'll determine what's the best space for it to be. And remember, if you want to not show it on mobile, you can deselect this. You know, but m most of the time you'll want to show it on mobile as well as desktop, so I will leave this selected. All right. So now that we have our three items here, the question is, how do we add some of this information in, like our contact, and our location, or excuse me, or our social media, how do we add these in? Because yeah, we're showing it, that's great, but where do we actually enter this information in? I'm gonna show you. So we'll back out of here. We're gonna to go to theme settings. And in theme settings, this is where we can add our location, contact, and social media information in. So I can click this and see our location. We can add in here, we can add our email, in here so I can change it from support to let's say info well here we changed it from support to info and see this is where we would enter that in but I'll press command Z to bring it back to support but we also could here change right below it change the actual phone number see so here we can actually change it uh, let's say we want to use a different number we could say um, one two three four five six one 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 see this is where we are able to change our phone number so now let's go down 
And here we have our social media section. And see, these, uh, the ones that actually have the text in it is what we're seeing. See, there's a bunch of empty ones here, and none of those are being displayed. So see, whichever one we actually put some, you know, some kind of text in is going to be the one that we're going to see here with our social media links. So here we can change our Facebook link, our Instagram link, or our Twitter link. All right, so I'm going to back out of here, back out of here, and go right back into our bottom bar settings. Okay, so we have our three blocks that we need, but we have some more settings to mess with. So here we have our enable for desktop. So we're saying, okay, we want this bottom bar to be enabled for desktop. We can also choose to have it enabled for mobile. For this case, I'm leaving it off. But we can also choose to change our section layout. So I'll click this and change it from global default to boxed. Looks pretty similar. Um, I'll try the full width background. Still looks pretty similar and full width. So they give you some options. I'm going to leave it at global default. We can also choose to change the height. So I can click this and drag it up. And see it increases the height. I can also decrease it, let's say to like 20. And we could do that as well. But I'll leave it at what it was at, at 30, about that. OK. We can also choose to change the font size. So from small to base, I'll try medium. And that's really large. So we'll change it from medium to base. Still pretty big. Let me move that. Still pretty big. So I'm going to move this to small. That seems like it fits better. And then I'll scroll down. So here we have our color combination. So we're able to change between primary combination, second combination, and custom. So we're on primary right now, so I'll try out secondary combination. And wow, it changes it to this really cool black color. That seems to go really well with the logo. So I'll leave that for now. But just in case you're wondering where this, com this color combination comes from, we'll go back. We will scroll down to theme settings one more time and click theme settings. And if we go down to base colors and click it, this is where our colors for our whole theme is located. So if I scroll down and I go to primary accent combination and secondary accent combination, this is where our primary and secondary colors are located. So if I click this, I could change it from green to whatever color I want. And I could also change this black, you know, from black to any color down here or any color up here that I want. So definitely something to know when you want to customize your store to be more, more like what you want in mind. So something very important to know when you want to customize your store to more of the idea you have in mind. So we can change what we need in the primary and secondary color section. Let's back out of here. Let's back out of here one more time and go back to bottom bar. Scroll down and see. We have our primary and secondary combination, but we also have our custom combination. We could click here and then add a fill color, let's say red. And we could add a content color, let's say this weird color green. And see, it shows it here. But I really like the secondary combination, so I'm going to click that and leave it there. Thank you for watching this video. Please refer to our Help Center for more information.